if you are doing any type of content on social media, you've probably heard. Just got pre-approved. Yeah, it's time to make a move. Yeah. We go hard selling homes now. We don't ever stop. Realtor, can you do some for me? Can you write up this offer for me? You probably used his music, his sounds for your reels, and I'm excited today to bring you an exclusive, exclusive. interview with Steven Diaz. Hello. Steven Diaz, the realtor, the rapping realtor. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're both here at an event. I feel like the first time that we connected was back in 2020. I had put out a reel and I used ludicrous song, Three of Coats. I've got homes, I've yes, got I've got homes, homes, homes. I didn't really change the lyrics, but that one took off. And then next thing I know, I got a message and you're like, hey, I've done the same, the same song right. Yeah. I sell homes, I sell homes. So you've been doing this for a while. Correct. For about two years now. Two years. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that whoever's watching probably has seen your reels. They've probably used your sounds. Mm -hmm. How did it all start with wanting to do your own lyrics to these famous songs? Um, it all started um, a couple years ago. Um, I used to do music before real estate. And then once I got into real estate, I kind of put music to the side a little bit. It was just a hobby. So I didn't have time to like juggle both of them. And then just one day, I decided to change the lyrics on one of the songs, which was the same one, Great Minds Think Alike, right? Yeah. Um, and I changed the lyrics just a little bit and I made a song and everyone was uh, really accepting of it, a lot of positive feedback. And then after that, I just continued to do like songs regularly. Yeah. Um, about one every month and just whatever song that was viral at the time, I would rewrite the lyrics to it. Okay, so obviously Area Codes was not, I don't know if it was a viral song at the time, but when I came up with that reel for me, I'm super old school with the music. And yeah. So if there's a song that I like, I try to figure out how I can incorporate it into real estate. So that's how my ideas came about. And probably the same way that you're seeing success, anytime that I do a song now and I use, I don't know, whether it's Drew Hill or Ludacris or anything, it does well because mm -hmm. people can relate to it. So when did you really see your Instagram and your music start to take off within the real estate community? Well, uh, for about a year and a half, it was just steady. Nothing, you know, really took off or anything. I did one song that I heard on TikTok and it was a viral song. Like you would hear it nonstop, nonstop. It was the song like the I hit her with that. Shh, shh, shh. And I was like, hey, I might be able to make that into like the buying process. Yeah. So I sat down, wrote the lyrics, made the song, and I was actually like really in doubt if I should like actually release it. It was kind of it's kind of stupid to me. I'm like, should I really do this with real estate? Um, you know, the other ones were really catchy. There were songs people knew, like yeah. you know the the one you were talking area codes, but this one was just a little different. So I was real hesitant. So I released it, did a little video um, by a microphone. My and it just took off. Wow. That was the first time. And that was about, I would say, two and a half months ago. Okay, so it's been... It was very, recent. Yeah, it's very recent. Real recent. So that was the actual one that went viral. So I think now it has 800,000 mm -hmm. views on Instagram Reels. Yeah. That's awesome. Are you posting them also on TikTok or any other platforms? And how uh, is the engagement there? I do post them on TikTok and YouTube as well. Um, for some reason, the engagement is, isn't, you know, the same, but um, I still post them on those platforms also. But Instagram's the one that's like... Instagram yeah. Reels is the one because they, uh, the realtors, yeah. um, they'll use it for their posts, whether they're do showing a house or, you know, for their own, you know, Reels or whatnot. And, you know, that's part of the reason why I make them is for realtors or lenders so they can use, use these sounds on their Reels. They might not be real creative, themselves to make such a song so i'll go ahead and make it and then everyone can use it correct nice yeah so what does that process look like or how long does it take for you to come up with you know the lyrics if you hear a song mm -hmm. and then you obviously go to a studio and record it there how long is that entire process 
it's actually um a pretty long process i feel like people think like oh he's just like popping these songs out left yeah. and right but actually it is a long process so sometimes i'll hear a song it'll be viral have a catchy hook and i'll try to make it into a real estate song and it just won't happen like it's a dead end and then sometimes i'm just like man this was easy and it, i'll finish it in one night but usually it's i would say a few weeks to like actually like do the hook do a verse re record like a rough draft go to the studio if need be record that then do a video whether green screen or music video so it's the videos happen about a month after the the audio so it's a it's a long process it's a, it's a lot of work for sure yeah i remember when i first saw the videos that you were putting out i was like oh dang this is like an entire production like a music <laughs> video um how many videographers are there like recording or is it just one person with like, um, gimbal yeah i have uh, a few connections as far as videos um one like i said does a green screen um does some recording like in the studio and then i have a couple also that do like outdoor like uh, music videos so different depending on the vibe of the song um then i'll decide which which videographer to go with yeah wow Mm -hmm. So you're getting about how many new followers would you say? Wow. So when I first when that first song initially like blew up, I was getting about a thousand a day. Um, it slowed down a little, probably 100, 200 a day right now. It, or depends if I drop like a new song and it's it's popular, catchy and people are using it a lot, then it'll pick up. So it's kind of, you know. Goes yeah. up and down. The house stylish. Big house, big t shirt, Billy Eilish. Do it would happen. It's all about timing. When they see my offer coming, they sign it. So I'm sure that the people that are watching want to know have you actually gotten deals? I Other have. Clients, like, what has that looked like? I've actually, my last uh, sale uh, was from my social media. I had a gentleman reach out. It was like in the requested uh, DM. So it wasn't like general, you know. It was like hidden. Like it was hidden. And I was like, he's like, hey, um, I'm thinking about selling my house. And I'm thinking maybe he's out of state. I'm like, what city? He's like, Fresno. And I'm like, okay, perfect. What's the address? Um, I ended up listing it for him. Uh, he said he's been following me for about a year on social media. I didn't follow him. I didn't know who he was. But he was following me on social media. Uh, knew what car I drove, if I had children, things like that. So yeah. he really knew a lot about me um, based on my social media. Um, so I did sell his house for him uh, in Fresno, and he was able to move back with his family in Los Angeles. That's yeah. awesome. And that's just one example. That's just one example. I'm getting a lot of referrals, uh, you know, a lot of inquiries, um, different, you know, business from social media for sure. So obviously right now we're out here in Arizona for an event. Mm -hmm. When did you start getting requests for you to come out and perform? Because <laughs> now it's not like you're just a realtor. Now you're a yeah, performer. Yeah. So when did that start and how did you feel about that? Um, well, right when I started, um, you know, coming out with consistent videos, I had a few people reach out and say, hey, would you mind coming out to our event? Uh, we're having a party. We're having a mastermind event. Um, and then pretty much now it's a regular thing. Mm -hmm. So I am doing performances. I love it. I get to travel, meet a lot of people, meet a lot of people that are um, making these reels. Yeah. Um, you know, I went to an event in Chicago. I had a gentleman come say, hey, look, this is the video I did. I did this one. This is my next one. Um, you know, took a picture. It's an amazing feeling like to meet, you know, the followers and people that are supporting. Yeah. Everyone's been super supportive. Um, I'm just really, really thankful for sure. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of back when we connected, like in 2020, I remember you were like, you know, I'm kind of hesitant mm -hmm. putting this out. What if clients don't like it? I'm like, you know, you just do it. And I think that's exactly what has happened to you. Mm -hmm. You have attracted the right people that are like your number one fans type of thing. You're mm -hmm. going to events, you're getting deals. So for anyone that's watching that is maybe struggling to put themselves out there on video mm -hmm. or be creative, like, what advice would you have for them if they say something like, you know, I'm shy or like, yeah. it's not me? Uh, believe it or not, I'm shy also. So uh, it was a little hard for me at first. It gets easier over time. Um, definitely be yourself. You know, you, that's that's really important. Um, if you have something that you do, a hobby, try to incorporate that into real estate, into your videos. Mm -hmm. That not only makes it more fun, but it, it makes it uh, easier for your clients to connect with you. So definitely um, be yourself. Definitely. That's fine. There you, go. you got to be yourself and you just got to put yourself out there because you never Correct. know what opportunities you're going to get Correct. from just doing something that you love to do, mm -hmm. which for you is music. Correct. You know that. 
So can we wrap this up? Can you give us a little wrap? A little wrap. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I have one. So I have one that's called Stack That Cash Up. Okay. And I see if I remember the words. So it's like, so you working with some cash, yeah. Cash, yeah. And you want to move fast, yeah. Fast, yeah. Bad credit in the past, yeah. Now we passed that. Got it showing in the morning. Tell me where the house at. All right. Oh, you know, a little sample. There you have it. Steven Diaz, you heard everything here first. All of his links are in the description box below. Follow him on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube if you want to watch the complete videos to all of these songs that he's doing. With that being said, we'll see you on the next one. Too bad. A three bedroom. My clients in the street trying to consume a house for their fam so they can make a move. All they ever wanted was a house with a pool. Just hit the east side of the 559 on a mission trying to get to my showing on time. Looked at my watch, I'm a tad bit late. I hope that my clients don't regulate.